guys, uh, welcome to my t second tutorial on how to make a uh, wallpaper. Um, what we're going to create today is this grungy wallpaper. It's really cool, it's really simple. Um, yeah, so let's just start off. Um, oh, sorry about that. Um, make a new document. Make the resolution of your screen, and now let's start. Um, first off, go into Filter, Render, Clouds, and if you don't like this, just hit Control F. That will um, change change the clouds. So now. Um, make a new layer. Take out the brush tool. Um, make sure you have downloaded the brushes. I am going to um, put them in the descrip description. So yeah, have a color black and just click. like this and then we got something like this and then just see the opacity right here just lower that to around 20-30 I don't care and make a new layer and just hit this right here that will change the that will change the foreground color to white and just do the same Again, make a new layer. Black. Like this. And just lower the passage again. And this is just. Now we are making the background. It's really simple. Nothing complicated or something. Just. I'm just I'm just gonna stop here. You can always make like six, eight, or ten layers. I only have four because I don't wanna spend too much time on it. And so yeah. Now we what you wanna do is hold control and we're gonna merge all the layers together. You can just go like this and merge down, merge down. Down. Now we all have it in one layer. So now we're gonna pick a color for it. Go in image, adjustments, and hue and saturation. And uh, now hit colorize. And there you can select what color you want. I'm just gonna select uh, purple. No. Just select blue. Like this. Put a little darkness in it and make the saturation go up, but not too much, or it'll look like this. It is. It's pretty ugly. So just have it around 30 to 40 around here. Then go in. It control B, or you can go in. Image adjustments, color balance. There we go. Hit shadows. There you can just do whatever you want. Just play with it. Uh, Make tones. I'm just gonna darken it a little bit. Now, now we have a background finish. Finish. Um, see this dots tool, and burn tool, and sponge tool. 
what we will want to select is the burn tool. What the burn tool does really is it it geez, it darkens the area that you are brushing. So I'm gonna hit shadows exposure at uh, 100%, and I'm just gonna press around the edges of it. Now you can see that this is much darker than here. Now midtones. Highlights. Now, just do this all around. Oh, computer is so slow. Um and if you're done with that, if you're happy about the outcome, just Okay. Then you you can don't have to take that these brushes or you have to and just click around the background. So we have this cool Now, we have a background finish, um, I think, wait a minute, um, yeah, we do, but if you don't happy with the color, you can always hit Ctrl U, bring up the hue saturation, and just bring it, I will set up a new color, that's okay. this one. Okay, now just take out your text and just type out photo back and go right click it and go in blending options. We can give it a stroke or auto glow. I'm gonna give it an auto glow. And I think I'm gonna change the blend mode to vivid light. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. Um, yeah, that's about it. You can always get it like this. simple right mm. um thanks for watching hope you learned something um please rate comment subscribe if you have any questions just leave leave a comment or just send me a me message um thanks for watching hope you enjoyed uh <laughs>